the, I guess, Calison Studio. <laughs> and we're testing out a, a new feature. This, is, this feature is uh, the go live with someone feature. And I'm hoping to test it out in the next couple of days. It's new to YouTube. It kind of works like it works on, on Instagram. Uh, where you can invite a guest and have them have a conversation. If anybody's interested in testing this out with me um, and you'd like to have a conversation with me, you can text me at that number that, that you see pinned in the live chat now, and then I will send you a link and you can join me. We can have a conversation about, I don't know, we just say hello if you want. <laughs> it's just something that I wanted to test for future um, for future videos to see if we can have a conversation, maybe have a dialogue about certain things. Maybe if I have one of my, my uh, questions, you can jump on a call with me and I don't know, we can have a, you know, you can give me your opinion on that, or you can share your testimonies with me, your testimonials with me, testimonies, testimonials with me, and we can do all that. So a quick shout out to son of the Re son of the Republic, uh, musings of the wing winged heart. Hello. Uh, we have Lindsay Chavez in the in the house. Thank you so much for joining us. Erica Ayala is in the house. Thank you, Erica, for helping me out with the live chat. She uh, she has to rewatch the chosen episodes because when she's watching them with me on here, she's more engaged in the in the live chat with you all, and uh, and she does an awesome job with that. So uh, Tammy, hello, welcome, hola. So if there's anybody who would like to join me on a on a conversation here, just send me a text message to that number and uh, make sure your camera ready. I'll send you a link and you can join me if you want just to say hello. Um, I, I need to test this out and see how um, and see how it works. Works. Hey, Lisa, um, there's a new feature on 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 YouTube that allows you to call in the guests. Um, mm -hmm. And so we're gonna try it out today. I got a, I got somebody who actually messaged now. Uh, let's see. Let me copy this link. I'll send you the link, and then maybe you can join me. Let's see. This is ah, Melissa Ohm. Here we go. So I send you that link. If you want to join me, you can go ahead and join me. I just accidentally came across your channel and love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the love. Yes. Okay. And then we'll, we'll get Lisa in as well. And, uh, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we're testing this out. So we'll keep the conversations, um, short so we can get a couple and I can practice some of these. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's see. I'll send you the link, Lisa. And if you could just give me a moment, let me just talk to the first guest and then, and then we'll, uh, we'll go, we'll go one at a time. Okay. This is all a test. We're testing that out, so I appreciate you all wanting to join me. Um, so far, I got two people who want to join me, and then we'll uh, we'll get on a quick conversation. Am I moving the camera too much? It looks like it's moving there. When is your baby due to come to the world? Uh, our baby is due in March 31st. Is the due date? We're probably thinking it might be sooner, but. Not sure. Um, I've sent you the link, so if you are are ready, I'm ready. Let's see, share. I guess I can I can share the link. I can email it and send it in a message. But the easiest way for me is to just um, the easiest way for me is to just um, send it to you via. Google Voice. Let me know if you've gotten it. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody had a wonderful um, Christmas. We checked out the sh the chosen yesterday, episode three. That was something else, right? Oh, is is Eric Davis on on here? Hi, Eric. Welcome, hermano. So good to see you. Hope you had a, a wonderful Christmas as well. Let's see. All right. I haven't I haven't gotten the, the invitation. Have you guys have you gotten the invitation yet, Melissa? I sent you the invitation to the link the link. Email it. Okay, I have to email it. Uh okay. Probably it's having some issues? Yeah, I told you. 
Okay. Okay, then send me your email on that. Uh, send me your email on there, and then I'll send you an email with the link instead. Let's try it that way. This is going to be a little bit more extra work, but let's try it. Uh, copy that. Paste that. Huh? Um, let, let me. I, I just sent. I just sent an email to Lisa, and let, let's try it that way first. Got the link. Just need to sign in the Google on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. See. Well, now we're we're learning what we need to do. So apparently, Melissa got the the link, but she needs to sign into Google on her phone. Okay. So I guess you need to be signed into Google on your phone in order for this to work. won't let me send a message to you on that number. Where are you, uh, Andrea? If not, I'm going to have to come up. I'm going to have to make a new email just specifically for that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Can you send me... Uh, um, Amor, can you, can you add my... Tower of Torres email on there. Tower of Torres thirty three. At, at thank you. Send me an email there, and then I'll invite. I'll send you the link. So I've already sent a link to Melissa. I mean, I'm sorry to Lisa. Okay, we'll pin that instead. Replace pin message. So just send me an email there if you want to join us. And then I'll send you the link. I sent a text to that number. Not sure if you got it. Yes, Joanne, I did. I saw that you mentioned that you uh, flipped the numbers upside down. I mean, I'll flip them, flip them, right? You put 741 instead of 714. I got it. I have to, I have to check my messages. I have to be good at, better about <laughs> checking my messages. Um, let's see. We have... Another Gmail. Okay, so we got, let's see. Well, um, okay. There it is. Hi. Okay, so we got. Oh, hey, Leo. I'm hearing an echo. Let me, oh, where am I? Sorry, under? that's me. Well, oh, that's you. Okay. Okay. There. Uh, can you still hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, good. I turned it off so down you can hear me. There so, is. yeah. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hi. I was afraid to I was afraid to accept because it said hacker don't care and I'm like, am I going to be hacked? <laughs> there. Uh, can you still hear me? Oh wait, there's an <laughs> echo, isn't there? Okay, good. I turned it off so down you can hear me. So, oh, yeah. There's a delay. Give me Hi. a second. Okay. Bye. I was afraid that I was afraid to accept because it said hacker don't care. Like, Am I gonna be hacked? No, that's that was just like yeah. Go ahead, hack me. I'm uh, open book. See who I am. Yeah, I'm for God. No, that's that was just like yeah. Go ahead. Oh, it's so delayed. It's bad. Isn't it? See who I am. Yeah. I'm for God. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, brother. Okay. I think the delay's gone now. Yeah, oh, there, there's a doing. delay because I can see you on here. We're having a talk conversation and then I'm watching us here. And okay. yes, there is definitely a big delay. So we're talking about like maybe a minute delay here. Okay, but the, yes, the, the echo, you're fine though, right? Can you maybe just turn down? Oh, wait, but you can't hear me. You probably need headphones in order to hear me. Okay, yeah, you you're, you're probably going to need headphones. And then I'm watching us here. Yeah. And okay. yes, there is definitely a big delay. So we're talking about like maybe a minute <laughs> delay here. Okay, but <laughs> you can hear that, can you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn yeah. this off so that we can just focus on this. Can you hear me though? Yes, I can hear okay. you. No problem. Okay. Well, that's it then. It's kind of yeah. like it was on the radio back then when you used to call in. <laughs> <laughs> if the person had the radio on, you can hear a big old feedback. Okay, cool. Yeah.
I can't I can't add a third person. I can only add one person at a time. I'm seeing Eric Davis here. You just you just added a comment saying add a third person for fun, but we can't. It's so far it only lets me add one. Okay. Um, so anyway, nice to nice to see you. <laughs> nice to meet <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It, it's cool that we can talk back and forth. It's like I've always felt like I'm having a conversation with you, but then you're not hearing my voice. So. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it's it's always interesting to put a face to to the texts and to the <laughs> to the usernames. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Well, well, this is fun. I I think I I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing this and hearing people's people's uh, stories. Would you yeah. uh, Would you like to share a story with me? I uh, what uh, do you how you came to the, how do you came to the channel or maybe I don't know maybe you have a uh, an interesting God uh, did it. Um, I don't know. I just I I think it was around the around COVID time and stuff, or even before I needed some music and stuff like that. And then you just came up to the, and I don't really know, but it seems like God connects me with people. And I started watching you and I'm like, this is great. And I just, I loved your genuineness and I loved how you like, okay, I'm not a, I don't believe in this stuff, but I'm interested <laughs> in looking into this. And it was like, you brought it new eyes you just brought new eyes to it and new like because i grew up with this i've been yeah. a christian all my life and it's a part of me and i know i know it's been a part of you too it just yeah. like you said you well the world got in the way but god got you back <laughs> and it's yeah. like and so it's like and i saw that i saw he was talking to you in your own way and like he's such a gentleman and he was taking you by your own pace but you also were looking at this with a good beautiful eyes but also musician ears and stuff and picking <laughs> up the levels and everything that i i have that in my heart i have the musician in there but i can't describe it the way you can you just are <laughs> so good at taking the music and then just describing it so well that it was like i'm in for this i'm just in for this <laughs> Okay. So, and then you did the chosen stuff, and that was so deep. I'm sorry. It's like when you start crying on Nicodemus, it's like, yeah, <laughs> and I've been praying for you this whole time. And it's just seeing the depth you're growing in, and like this channel, you're right. It's become a safe sheepfold for everyone to come, for anyone to share. For as, as long as you are loving, as long as you're here, and let's have questions, let's have a conversation. It's yeah. great. And I'm just amazed <laughs> at what God's doing with you with yeah, all of this and everything. So okay, thank you. Yeah, keep this going. Keep it going, bro. <laughs> I, I I definitely will keep it going. It's still it's still a little bit challenging for me at times with certain things, you know, people say, but um, but I I've I've loved it all the way through. Um I'm definitely gonna keep going. Uh, the music thing, I mean, it did start off with the music and I'm going to continue doing the music. I, I've, I've wanted to take it into other other roads, but it always always pulls me back to the music. I'm a person, I like I like asking questions and I'm really, I really love that people are, have been open to the questions. And I, mm -hmm. and, and I realize now that I have to sort of clarify where that question is coming from, because sometimes uh, I ask a question and then some people think that I'm being um, uh, doubtful, you know, but... Uh, most or of the questions. It's our own jaded. It's our own jadedness and stuff. Or even it's like you've brought a new flavor. Okay. <laughs> like I, I think I sent an email to you like when it first started and everything like that. Is like you're one of like the apostles. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Is that you didn't come from the background or anything like that <laughs> and all this stuff and oh you got the degrees and all this everything. So and but no, you're just I'm just a regular guy and he's using you. And it's great. And it's just keep listening to the spirit and keep doing what you're doing. And I love what you're doing with the chosen, especially it's just, yeah, it's like every, uh, okay. Brain fart. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> every, okay. Every Grinch has been amazing. Okay. The first okay. Grinch was like, yeah, this was a challenge and let's see what we could do. Okay. The sex and Grinch was not so much. And now this Grinch is like, you are so into it, <laughs> but you're so deep with it. And the same thing with the chosen. It's like, you're bringing depth out of it. Just keep doing what you're doing, bro. It's good. Well, thank you. I didn't think that anybody was good that, or I didn't imagine that so many people were going to be interested in, I guess, hearing what I had to say. Uh, but mm -hmm. I did. I, I love picking out. I love picking out the instruments. I love picking out certain lyrics if they move me. Sometimes, if I feel like somebody needs to hear that specific message, you know, picking out that lyric 
and uh, and now and I love film too. So watching the chosen and seeing the the quality of 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 the show, you know, and how much mm -hmm. work is being put into it, it's it, it's been fun. But I will I will definitely continue. Thank you for the encouragement. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to the next person. Yep. I, it, See you it later. Was, it was nice meeting you. Thank you so much for helping me here today. And, no and, problem. And God bless you. Out. See ya. Bye. God bless you. I'm not sure how to. Oh, there it is. Boom. Guest left. Okay. I've sent you a link, Andrea. If you want to join me, you're more than welcome to click on that on that link. Um, and then I guess I'll 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 uh, take it here. Here, Lisa is is joining me. Hello, Lisa. Make sure you have your headphones. Tammy, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, can you hear me? Here, here. Oh, we're gonna need. We're, you're either gonna need headphones. Or you're gonna hey. the other the other uh, uh, phone. Ah, uh, give me a second. I need okay. to find them. Or, or, or just shut off the, the sound so you, you, we can't hear the feedback. <laughs> We're figuring this thing out together. We're figuring this thing out All right. The other thing is for me to turn down, turn down the, the other speakers so that it doesn't loop. Oh, here we go. I found them. They were Beautiful. right here the whole time. <laughs> All right, there we are. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Hi. Yes. See you again. <laughs> hey, I'm good. How are you? Again. I'm doing great. What do you? What's what's the project you're working on? So I I've spoken to to Lisa. For those of you who are who are, who are watching, I spoke to Lisa this this last coming week, and I learned that she's a seamstress and she does some sewing, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, I uh, I actually did some on Christmas Day for a guy because we had a freezing rain here on Thursday night and and Friday, and so it was so bad that even people who learned to drive on snow like me didn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, unless they had chains or something, it yeah. was really bad. And so this family needed me to fix this suit for a guy. His arms were too short for this, for this jacket. And um, I ended up fixing it Christmas morning and he came by to, I picked up Saturday night and he picked, he picked it up Christmas early afternoon so he could wear it to church that evening. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I, I, I'm working on an 1800 stress and, and other little projects. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's, good. That's, what my, yep. that's what my grandmother used to do too. So. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was just commenting in the comments. I, I love what you're doing with the chosen, like the questions that you ask. I know I, people can say, oh, you shouldn't ask those questions, but people who say that, like telling people what questions they can and can't ask. I mean, that's kind of entitled, I think. Um, you know, I mean, it's, you, it, it, I don't think God's afraid of our questions, honestly. And, yeah. and, and sometimes you bring up the thoughts that, um, you know, and sometimes I think your questions have, other people are asking them, but maybe they're not, they're too afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. But also you bring out ideas and um, lines of thought that, you know, they're just interesting and I hadn't thought of them and, and it gets us thinking, you know, and that's good. It's good because yeah. yeah, it's I mean, easy. Christians can tend to get in a bubble and we ask each other the same questions and we have the, the answers we think and all of this. And, and it, it's easy to not, um, not realize what other people are asking and, and what other, what, what people out there really, the questions they really have. Yeah, and asking questions is a way to figuring out, figuring things out, right? Exactly. I have, um, it's it's sort of a sensitive topic for me a, a little bit now um, because when I initially, when my grandfather passed away, I had a lot of questions, and I felt like I couldn't bring those questions to to the priest of the, in my church at that time, and I was looked at as as rebellious and doubting my faith, doubting my faith. You have a kid in there. I have a cat. <laughs> Here, meet His Royal Highness, Sir Garfield. <laughs> Sir Garfield. Oh, yes. Senor Garfield. 
Um, oh, and, yes. and so, that, you know, my questions were welcomed. And then eventually that led to atheism, because it's like if if you can't answer mm-hmm. these questions and these questions make you uncomfortable, then what are you hiding? What, what uh, you know, what what is it that you're protecting by not wanting to answer those questions by exactly. diverting my attention somewhere else? Exactly. And, you know, if God isn't afraid of the devil, who, you know, what's so scary? What's so scary about a, a question? You know, <laughs> exactly. You know, so. I mean, it, you see. If you read the Psalms, you see that all the range of emotions that that David and the other psalmists um, had and expressed and hard questions, you know, like was I think it's Psalm 73 where the writer um, says something like, you know, I I my paraphrase, I was troubled when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. It seemed like they've got everything going for them. And yet here I am struggling as a righteous person. And and it and then but he resolves it at the end. He says, I went into the sanctuary and then I understood their end. I realized that they might have it good now, but they're gonna they're gonna pay for it later. And mm. and that I can trust. And so yeah. you see that, but he, he asks hard questions and he exaggerates things that are that are not I mean what he says isn't really true of how bad, how good the wicked have it and how bad the righteous have it. But he, he writes it because that's how he's feeling at the moment. Right, right. That's his, that's his perception. Perspective. I mean. Yeah, his perception. And he, he comes around at the end. But God's okay with those kind of things. He's okay with us venting, I think, and asking <laughs> yeah. hard questions. I mean, right. God can handle it. If he's, not, if he's not big enough to handle me venting or, or anybody venting and, and being upset, then, you know he's not God because <laughs> this is much bigger than that. Yeah. Right? He's so big, much bigger than that. That's great. Well, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you I for letting I'm me be on. I'm going to see if there's anybody else who wants to join, but thank you so Absolutely. much. For joining me. We'll You're make welcome. these conversations a little longer next time. Oh, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. I, Andrea, I sent you a link. You're welcome to click on it now if you want to join me. And if there's anybody else who wants to join me, just, uh, send an email to that tower. It, it's it's pinned right there, Tower of Torres 33 at gmail.com. I'll make another email specifically for this so that so that we can can get those links to you sooner. But uh, so far, I mean, this is great. I've learned I learned a couple of things about this. So do not have your speaker on loud, on um, so that there's no feedback loop. And I think headphones are optional actually. I think the feedback the feedback is coming from you playing it on the speaker. Hi, Andrea. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Finally got it. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Well, welcome. Nice to nice to meet you. You too. (laughs) Thank you for thank you for uh, testing this out with me. It's 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 interesting. I'm learning a lot. So thank you for testing. it. Yeah, not a problem. It's exciting, isn't it? It is. It is. Thank you. Is there a story you'd like to share with me? Something about, uh, I don't know, how you came to God or how you came to the channel or what you do with your life? Yeah. Um, yeah, my, my journey with God has been a very interesting one. Um, all the way through school, I was bullied for being a, a larger child. And... I also got a lot of that bullying within the church as well, in the youth group that I was in. Um, jokes were made about my size and stuff like that. And it built up such a an anger and hatred against not just God, but human beings. Mm. And I got invited to um, a special meeting at a local church. And I went because I went with a load of friends but I, I went with this huge concrete wall in front of me. Uh-huh. And I sat in the meeting and the, the man who was speaking, I always remember his name, it was Bob Main from Spain. Bob and, Main from uh, Spain. <laughs> yeah. And uh, right in the middle of the service, he just, he pointed at me. And he asked me to um, come out. And at first I was like not having any of it. And he uh, 
he says, yes, you there, you then. He described what I was wearing and everything. And he says, I need you to come out. So I went out and he spoke to me and he spoke about the wall that had built up around me and it had got so high that even God couldn't get through to me because I was so shut off uh-huh. from from human beings and, you know, just so much hatred and anger towards human life. Mm-hmm. And as he was speaking to me, he was actually telling me things that nobody else knew, mm-hmm. but it was conversations that I had had with God because I didn't want to be a hateful person. And... As he was speaking to me, I I just started to cry uncontrollably. And he was just like, that's okay, sister. You know, this is the bricks coming down one by one, by one, by one. And honestly, I had never... <laughs> oh, no, you're stuck. Like, hours later, I was still sobbing and crying. Mm. But when I went home and I woke up the next morning, it was just like this, almost like somebody had taken this brick wall off me. Yeah. And I felt so light. And I actually, the next day, people were staring at me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what What are you staring at? And they were like, your face, your face. And I was going, what, what? what's wrong with it? And they're saying, can't you see it? And I was going, what, what am I supposed to be seeing? And they were like, it's absolutely beaming. And it was just the same thing. And I got, when I got filled with the Holy Spirit as well, it was the same thing. I, I, I was actually working then and I went to work the next day and I was working on a checkout in a shop and the people I was serving were just staring at me and saying, your face is just beaming. Like what, what is with you? You know, but do you know what? I have been through a tough life, um, you know, um, recently losing my husband, who was oh, my, my my hero. Mm. Um, my first marriage was domestic violence and sexual abuse. And then I met this wonderful man and I called him my hero. And oh. we had 23 fantastic years together and another two children. So I've got five children in all. And then all of a sudden, he just dropped dead out of the blue. Wow. And, but it was in front of my children. I'd actually gone to work. But God, even then, it's been 17 months, God has took me through such a journey. And one of the things I'll always remember was it was about a week after he'd passed away and we, uh, me and my brother often go to this St. Bernard's, it's called, and it's a monastery, and it's my my time to, like, just declutter. And I go and sit in, in silence, and I remember sitting on this seat at absolute silence, and I was just saying to God, you know, why, why, why? That's all I could ask him. Yes. And... All of a sudden, just this peace, you know, to be in such a distress. Mm -hmm. But then this peace just came down and I actually physically felt this hand on my shoulder. Wow. Well, as I as I looked, I I was looking around for who had touched me, you know, Uh because it was such a physical thing. And I looked at my brother, who was a few seats away with me because of the COVID restrictions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then there was another man who was like 10 rows behind us. And then another woman who was on her knees at the the back of the church. So I knew it was none of them. Yes. And I just said, 
was that you? Was that <laughs> you let, letting me know that you are here with me and that I'm going to be okay? Yeah. And the next day, I actually got a card through the post and it was the most beautiful card. And on the front of it, it said, God is singing a song over you. And when I opened it up, it was the verse was like, you know, in our times of sorrow, God takes every one of those tears. Every one of those tears is is bottled. You know, they're so our tears are so precious to him. And it's it really touched me. And all the way along. It's just been God speaking to me, speaking to me, speaking to me. And the one thing I, I asked was, God, I don't want 2023 on my own. You know, I've got five kids and I, I didn't want to face another year on my own. And on Christmas Eve this year, I met the most amazing fella again, and I never thought that I would have the same connection um, with someone as I had with Steve. It, it, the connection with Steve was so instant. I knew straight away that I was going to marry Steve. Knew Steve, it. Steve is your, your Steve, husband. My, passed. My, my husband who passed, yes. Okay, Steve. And I met this fella called Carl and we we started talking, met him through a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. We started talking and he just said to me, he says, would you be my lady? <laughs> he said, you are just so beautiful and so incredible. He says, I don't, I don't want to pass on this opportunity to let somebody else get you. Yes. <laughs> and honestly, he's, he's actually been and spent Christmas with us and every one of my kids has just opened their arms to him mm -hmm. and he's just slotted straight into the family. <laughs> and it, it, honestly, it's been such a blessing, but it's like it's the okay. one thing I just says, God, please, I don't want 2023 on my own. And to get that, to wait for Christmas Eve, you know, to give yes. me that, it's like a God's gift to me, you yeah. know. And yes. honestly, the, the thing that I know through many years of following my dad <laughs> is that he cares about every single aspect of our lives it doesn't have to be something major it can be something so insignificant to others but significant to us mm -hmm. and god cares about it god cares about how we pay our bills he cares about how we mm -hmm. eat he cares about how we clothe ourselves mm -hmm. there's just nothing that God doesn't care about. And the thing is, it's like the thing about asking God questions or venting to God. There's been times when I have just screamed at God and said, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, but do you know what? We, we have to see God as, and Jesus, as our father, our dad, and the same relationship that we have with our earthly father mm -hmm. is the same relationship that we have with him. And we don't ever have to worry about the questions that we ask him. Mm -hmm. there, there are no questions that we can't ask him. Mm -hmm. And there are no amounts of anger when when we don't understand why yes. we are being challenged in the ways that we are, right. it's just God understands that. He created us. He knows how we work. 
He's got yeah. the manual for us. He knows we're human beings and we have these feelings and emotions and, and our frustrations. And we really don't have to worry yeah. about how we talk to our dad. <laughs> yeah, it's, just like, it's just like our, our my i mean my girls i don't care how i mean obviously i don't want them to be disrespectful right but yeah, I, I, can, yeah. I can take when they're not feeling well i can take when they're when they're upset and i can take yeah when they're particularly bothered by something maybe that i did or didn't allow them to do right um yeah. since, since i have you here and and we're on on that topic because i've been looking through the comments section and i've noticed that there are a lot of women who have have left the comment where they're talking about recently losing their husbands. Um, yeah, I have a question. So, what 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 lesson or what message do you think would be most beneficial of uh, to someone who recently lost their husband that you would like to share with them? To um... the thing, the thing that I have clung to, and the thing that I see is we may not understand and we may never understand why we lost the people that we lost mm. but we have to believe that god knows there is always a reason we we will often never know the reason why things happen but we we trust that god does Mm -hmm. And sometimes he takes people because he knows what's coming for them. And sometimes I truly believe that sometimes God takes people because further down the line, it could be that they would lose their faith so dramatically mm -hmm. and or something that would happen that would cause such destruction in mm -hmm. a family unit. Mm -hmm. And we, we we have to believe that God knows why he does what he does. Mm. And all he asks us to do is just have faith in him. Mm. Because at mm. the end of the day, we are, we are following a dad who knows our end from our beginning. <laughs> he knows which road we're going on. He knows what's coming. He knows, you know, what we're going to face. We don't. We right. don't know what the next second brings for us. But and he does. And essentially that's something that scares us the most is the, is the unknown. Yeah. It's not knowing where or why or how we're, how we're going to end up. And that's yeah. the scariest part. But I'm terribly sorry for your loss, but I'm also very happy that, that you you asked the question or that you said to God that you didn't want to spend another year alone um, because, because it sounds like mm. he's an answer to, to a prayer. And I'm really happy that this Carl has come into yeah. life. Yeah. And, I've had and, a lot and, of people. Yeah. I've had a lot of people say it's too soon. It's too soon. Oh, Why are you doing this? But let, let me, let me tell you Only this. we know our journey. Let me, t let me tell you um, this. Loneliness is, is a, is a killer. Yeah. And sometimes sometimes we know uh, indirectly yeah. we might be asking, I don't want to be alone. And we don't know where our mind and our emotions will take us at the end of this road. Yeah. If we spend too yeah. much time alone, it could turn that anger towards ourselves and eventually end yeah. up in a bad place. So, you know, asking yeah. not to be left alone and bringing Carl in that moment, it, it's all it's God's timing. You know, it might be too yeah, soon absolutely. for a human being, for another human being and say, how could she have moved on that quickly? But, yeah. but God knows what you, what you need, you know, and, yeah. and, and, he, and he provides. The thing that people said to me as well was, well, you'll never replace Steve. The thing is, I don't want to replace Steve. Right, I am replacing. not replacing Steve. Steve right. is Steve. And I will always love steve and even even carl said to me i know that your love for steve will always last but i don't fear that right. he says what i want to do is to complement what you and steve built and carry on that journey i love carl <laughs> yeah it's also because yeah. he's not he's not in competition right it's he's not turning no into a competition. he doesn't see that, it as competition wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, 
let us know if there's a wedding invite us we'll, we'll be <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Send me you already know. I've, I've, I've already told friend. Paul I'm going to marry him. He ain't got a choice in that. <laughs> yeah, no choice. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of that, all, all of that personal information with with, with us. And I'm yeah. sure I, I'm sure it's going to move somebody and touch somebody in, in a very special way. So thank you. I'm going to move on yeah. to the next person, but we'll, we'll yeah, make the conversation cool. a lot longer next time. Thank you so much. Happy blessing for the birth as well. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. God bless you. Take take care. <laughs> You too. Bye. All right, Familia. Okay. Um, I, I think, oh, here we go. All right. That was something else, wasn't it? See, I, I love this. Okay, I love this, this new tool. It's going to allow us to share our stories together and to learn from one another. My grandfather, and I, I, I shared this with my dad. I had a conversation with my dad yesterday, and uh, I, I remembered that my, um, and then, by the way, uh, Tammy, I sent you a link. So if you're ready, just go ahead and click on that link and then I'll be, uh, I'll bring you on. But um, I shared with my dad that my grandfather reminded me or told me once that we learned from experience, right? Everybody says that. Well, we learn from experience. We learn from experience. The beautiful thing about that, my grandfather said, is that we don't just learn from our own experience. So it's not like I go and I get burnt and then I know not to touch that, right? The beautiful thing is that we can learn from each other's experiences. So I could see somebody touch touch a flame and get burned. And I know I've learned from his experience not to touch that flame, right? And this is kind of helpful to that. So we can hear each other's experiences, uh, our, our, our successes or our triumphs or how we overcame them. And hopefully someone who's listening who might be going through the same thing can find inspiration in that and find uh, um, guidance in that. And I love that. I'm, I'm all for it. So um, let's see. I've sent I've sent an email a link to Tammy. If you're ready to go, I'm, re I'm ready for you as well. Um, if anybody would like to just share a quick story with me, you can email the, the, the link that's, that's pinned. I'm pointing to it like you know where I'm pointing. Uh, it's pinned, towerofthorus33 at gmail.com. You can send me, send me an email there, and I'll send you a link. All you need to do is click on that link and come on board. Uh, Roger R., member for 20 months, thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Um, the only thing that you're going to want is to not play the the sound on your speaker and and maybe just join me on the phone. I think that's the way to do it. Um, not have it play somewhere else because then it, it does like a feedback loop or have your headphones like I do. And then this way, the sound goes right into your ears and not through the speaker and then feeds back into your microphone and then eventually just creates this loop. Uh, look at me. I'm trying to teach you how loops work, like if you didn't know how they worked. <laughs> um, so far, I've messaged Tammy. If you're ready, just click on the link, and then we'll we'll bring you on board. Um, I've seen a lot of awesome. Um, says it cannot join the stream. Oh, um, really? Let's see. Huh. Add a guest. Oh, that's interesting. Let me let me send you the link one more time. Hmm. Maybe I I hadn't cut off the other conversation yet, but try one more time if you can, please. I'm not sure if it tells you why not, but if it does tell you, tell us more about this looping. <laughs> you you know more than I do, uh, David. I'm sure you know more than I do. How long have you been on doing this on YouTube? Uh, doing what on YouTube exactly? If we're talking about this conversation, this is the first conversation we've ever we've ever had like this, because YouTube just released this new um, new way of of having this conversation. I can actually do it on the software that that I do my my usual conversations with, but uh, I, I want to try out try this out because YouTube loves when or any platform loves when you're when you use their tools and then it promotes it to more people. Um, so we're hoping to get more of these conversations um, um, I guess shared with more people so we can share our stories together. If you want to join me on the conversation, just email me at that email address there, and then I'll send you a link and you can you can join me right through YouTube. Join me for a conversation. So far, we've had great conversations. I'm glad I haven't gotten anything that I had to uh, you know, exit. <laughs> So I appreciate that. Appreciate you all sharing your stories with me. I love hearing these stories. 
if you have found this story, any of these stories um, beneficial or, or they bless you in any way, please hit that like button now. I don't like to ask people what to do, like hit the like button or subscribe, but it helps the channel. And, uh, and well, we need help. We need, we need help. Hopefully get to more, more people uh, to join us on these conversations. And your dad's words are beautiful. I'm so sorry he left so soon. Um, are pants required? Pants are not required. Um, if so long as you have the camera above chest, chest and up, <laughs> that's fine. We don't want to see tidy whities <laughs> At least I don't want to see that. Um, but, uh, Reggie, hello, welcome. The last one is your heart. Yeah, Joanne. Our heart is with you. You know that, Joanne, right? We, we're here for you. La familia, all the all around the world. Let us know where you're watching from uh, so we can give a shout out to your hometown. Uh, don't get specifics. Don't don't tell us your address or <laughs> even the city. You can just say what state you're from or what county, <laughs> right? Like I'm from uh, Riverside County. I gotta get, I gotta jump on, on making more of those Torres County um, shirts like I made for Eric Davis. Uh, we got Julianne from Arizona. So, oh, okay, so you're, you're our neighboring state. You're our neighbor. Is it Rhea or Rhea? Rhea County, Tennessee. Music City, USA. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where that is. Uh, county, yeah. El Paso, Texas. El Pax. Is it Texas or Texas? Missouri? Is it Missouri or Missouri? Salem, Oregon. Yorkshire, England. I learned how to say that. Yorkshire. Um, I'm watching from the living room, Erica says. Toronto, Canada. Awesome. Is it Derbyshire or is it Shire? Derbyshire, UK. I know TD Watts is, is in, in Northern California. She's in, she's in my state. Tammy, did it not work again? I, I sent you the link. If not, I will get you on a live through the other software. Re, re, he, us, <laughs> re, he, us. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, hello from Poland. We got people from Poland. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Is it telling you that you have to log in or ask, telling you anything specific? We'll figure it out together. Okay. This is my first time. So don't, don't, don't fret. We'll have a conversation. If not today, um, we will have one soon. I'll, I'll find another way. Actually, I'm liking this. So I might do it through the other through the other software that I have. So, um, Michelle, I send you a link. If you're, if you want to check your email, click on the link and then join me. Uh, let's see, we got Nuevo Mexico. Rea, is it Rea? Okay, Rea, thank you, but also Rea. Okay. Um, Jan from Florida, welcome. See, Joanne, you got people all over the world here that are with you. I even tried on the computer and it took me to troubleshoot page. Really? Well, the link is still good here. Let me copy the link one more time. Actually, let me see. Share. Yeah. Okay. Copy the link. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me. That's that's weird. Michelle, let me know if you if you're also having trouble with that. Hang on. Uh, Tammy, I copied the link and it gave me a new link. So let me see. Oh, wait. Add a guest, copy the link. Yeah, give me that link. Try that. I'm not sure if that's the link to the live. Oh yeah, that's the link to the live. Yeah, that can't, that's not it. Hmm. Try one more time. Michelle, let me know if you are having trouble joining me as well. Yes, I got a new link and then it let me in. Okay, so try that. Try that, uh, Tammy, I sent you a new link. This is fun, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. 
I like it a lot. <laughs> Let me know if you know where that's from. Can you tell I, I like watching movies? I like watching a lot of movies. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that The Chosen is doing an awesome war, awesome job at uh, at creating this, this, telling this story. I think, um, honestly, Dallas Jenkins has just set the bar really high for anybody, any other filmmaker who's going to try to make um, either a show or a film uh, with uh, in the Christian Christian scene because um, it's really hard. I, I'd imagine that it's really hard without it being cheesy, you know. And I mean cheesy. Okay, here's what I mean. When you're watching a Christian film and you are a Christian, um, I think just the fact that that story is being told, you overlook a lot of things, right? So you might overlook bad lighting or bad sound, bad acting. You might overlook some of that. But when you create a show that even an outsider, who, someone who may not be a Christian, can still enjoy and forget that they're watching a show and just wa just wa watching the story, um, then... Um, and you know you got something good. I, th I think you know you got something good. Hollywood ostens ostensibly. That's a big word. Well, big for me. I, I don't know what that. I don't know that. I've never heard that word. Thank you for teaching me a new word. I love meeting new words. Hello, ostensib. What is it? Ostensibly. Ostensibly. Apparently or. Purportedly? Purportedly? That's a new word too. But perhaps not actually. Okay, so apparently, supposedly, got it. Um, that they lost $500 billion in the market value this past year? Wow. I'm very critical of Christian Fields. Yeah, as, as you should be. Okay, so are these links not working? If not, um, let me see. Yeah, it's not working. Hmm. I don't know if it just, I hope it's not limiting us. Uh, let me, a Gmail. Oh, did it freeze because I, okay. Apparently I can't navigate. <laughs> okay, apparently I can't navigate outside of, of YouTube because it'll pause the video. Okay, good to know. Reply, send a link. I think this is a new link. Uh, I need a new mouse. Just one second, please. Tell me I want to send you a new link. No VPN. David, what's a VPN? <laughs> All right, try that one. It shut off. Okay, try that new link, uh, Tammy. That's interesting. I wonder why it does that. Okay, back again. Got it. Okay. Uh, someone get Leo a new mouse for Lakers <laughs> and keyboard, actually. <laughs> okay, here's here's what I think the issue might be. Um, I'm using Logitech, which is uh, Microsoft technology, on a Mac. Um, I would like to have a Mac keyboard and mouse, but just like everything Mac, they have to hike up the price and uh make it so that youtubers like me can't can't get one nope trying on my phone wow okay i guess i guess i might have to i don't know limit these to certain amount of conversation is uh are you still on here michelle if if not let me know um, um let me see you want to try it with me amor Okay, let me send you let me send you an uh, a link. Let 
wait, where is this? Sorry, Familia, I'm bringing you on with me on this on this journey while I email, excuse me, send an email to Erica. There, I sent it. Virtual private network effectively imports a remote client to locate private network. Oh, okay. We get to talk to Erica from the living room. Yes. Did you get it? Okay. She got it. From Paraguay. I think this is our first time meeting someone from Paraguay. I mean, not meeting someone, but, but I mean on the channel. You know what I mean. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. I uh, love the vision lives. Thank you so much, Brian. Brian Silva. Welcome to the welcome to the live chat. I feel his presence when I'm watching The Chosen. He opens my ears to. Yeah. You got an email, but you didn't get a link. It just shows me this. Hold on, let me push mute on mine because you're gonna hear you. This is what pops up. Troubleshoot. Oh. I don't know what all that stuff what? is. And then my email. When you click that, it took you to. Yeah, it took me there. Huh. All right. Here, let's try this again. Let's end this one and start it over, and then and then I'll it'll generate a new a new link, and then we'll just take we'll just take Tammy since she's waiting for a while, and then and then we'll we'll call it. I think I think uh, the the link eventually just eventually fades out or becomes unactivated. So I will see you shortly. Let's do.